guys, we are here at Caixa Cultural, my friend Vanita and I, yeah? It's actually Vanetta, my name. Vanetta, that's so fancy. Yes. <laughs> my name is Vanetta, alright? Yeah, and now uh, I'm, going, I'm going to ask a few questions to Vanita because apparently she knows a lot about this place. So let's check her previous knowledge about the place, alright? <laughs> so Vanita, uh, please tell us, uh, what's the, the profile of the people that normally come to visit this place? Well, according to the people that we spoke with, uh, they is it, basically everybody all over the city that happens to know about the place. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what's the main purpose of this place? Why this place exists? As I understand, it's kind of a, a community arts center. Um, one of the uh, one of the national banks. Uh, hold on, there's a ambulance going by. One of the national banks sponsors the place, <clears throat> and basically they wanted more. Basically, the arts to be accessible to the public. You know. Yeah. Um, apparently, here in Fortaleza, that's been an issue. People aren't able to go and see a dance performance or a musical performance, plays or have access to books and things like that, you know, at, at all levels of the society. So this place was born because of that, to give to give everybody access to culture. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, let's talk about the types of ex exhibitions they have here. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so according to the guy that I spoke with, um, I've got a list here. <laughs> They've got Film exhibitions, theater, dance, musicals, and literary fairs. So they do like they do art installations, for example, that stay here for two to three months that people can come take pictures with and observe. Uh, typically, I think the the art installations are free. So you could just like if you ain't got no money, you could just walk up in here and be like. I want to. I want to look at some art today, <laughs> and they will. Yeah. They will invite you in. You know. Yeah, that's the purpose. Yes, to that's, give access to everybody. Yeah. Yes, it's really awesome. Um, and for some of the productions they have, I think the prices are also very accessible. Yeah. They will like if you're a student. I mean, you can go. You can come and watch a musical or a symphony, or a professional dance performance for like five or ten bucks maybe bucks as in hey eyes not dollars yeah um if you're a foreigner here i mean it's going to cost you like two or three bucks to watch professional musicians play professional dancers dance you know things like that so it like it i i think it's i think it's pretty spectacular um because even in my hometown we don't we don't have this kind of thing available all the time and for this cheap and Vanita, uh, how often do they change the shows? Here? Okay, so uh, from what I gather, they like every single weekend there's a new show. <laughs> you know, so like one weekend, maybe there's a dance show. Maybe the next weekend there's going to be some sort of film and discussion, something like that. Um, maybe the following weekend you can see a musical. So yeah, it's really every single weekend they have a new show. And again, the range in cost, I think, is usually five to ten AIs. Yeah. If you're looking at dollars, is like two bucks, you know, so you can't get any cheaper than that. And yeah, and the art, the art exhibitions and installations every two to three months. Excellent. Thank you very much. Benita, uh, why do you think so many people in Fortaleza, they don't know about this place? They have never heard about it before, or they don't show much interest on it. Uh, why do you think of, about this? Uh, well, I think it's something that doesn't, it, it, it doesn't just affect this place, but it's basically everything in Fortaleza. Um, for some reason, they're, they're it, by getting information about what is here, um, entertainment-wise, outside of the beaches, like when, when you look for information about Fortaleza, all you tend to be able to see is beach, 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 beach. And so you have the impression that that's all there is to do here. Yes. <clears throat> but in actuality, the city has as much to offer as any major city. Um, but I feel like the information 
isn't readily available on the internet, for example. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to mm -hmm. go to a site and, you know, just have one site that tells you everything that there is to do here. Yeah. Um, and, Absolutely. you know, yeah, some, she's of, right. so, some people say that the people are not interested, but I disagree with that. I think people are very interested, but unfortunate, unfortunately, it's just that nobody has organized this in a, in a very accessible way yet. Uh, yeah, I just think uh, Fortaleza citizens uh, in general, uh, I don't want to generalize, but this is a very uh, fair assumption. Uh, we don't really uh, value cultural things, right? As she said, we love the beach, we love uh, practicing sports on the beach or, or uh, at the gyms, but normally we don't go to theaters, we don't go to places like this. When I say we don't go, I'm not, of course, generalizing. What I'm saying is the majority of the people, they're not going, right? And uh, I think that's why uh, places like this are so difficult to promote. They try, 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 they invest a lot of money on promotion, but it's not easy, it's not an easy task. Uh, for instance, she just, she just said, the lady here just told us that this place exists since uh, 2012. And I only heard about it like a few months ago. <laughs> and it's 2018 now, yeah. you know, when we're making this video. Yes, yeah, so I, I think, uh, of course, uh, it's, uh, there is a lack of information in the market, but it's also a lack of interest from the population, you know, uh, it needs to be a change or a shift in mentality in order to people to uh, seek for places like this uh, more often. So, Vanetta, what else can we tell people about this place? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you, you spoke <laughs> about, you know, the profile of the people that normally come here to visit this place. We spoke about prices and the types of exhibitions they have here. So, what else can we can we share with uh, people at home? Yeah, so from what we understand, the place is open from um, Monday to Saturday yeah. from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. Um, and let's see, on Sundays, they're open from 12 until 7 p.m. Uh, she also said that they do tours, like you can do either individual tours or you can bring school groups here. So yeah, I think, I think that's pretty interesting. Awesome, awesome. So let's go for a walk and show people this place. Yes, I think that's a great yeah. idea. Come with me, baby. <laughs>
Yes.